My camera's like tweaking out and I need it to stop. My camera literally keeps starting and stopping. So my camera literally keeps like cutting on and off and I don't know why. And let's just say I'm not in the mood. You feel what I'm saying? Lord, bless this camera and bless my peace. Cause we ain't about to be doing this all day, bro. Ain't gonna lie. What I was saying before it kept, <laughs> I gotta get these clothes cleaned up. Cause they're clean, but I need to just put them away. Wherever, you know what I'm saying? Let's do that. And if this camera shuts off, I'm gonna buy another one. Sight, nah. <laughs> pretty much is clean bro my camera is not recording so i keep like missing clips that that it ain't making no sense bro get my headphones on I'm about to go to the park I'm about to hit this this q a for y'all so i'm about to go do this q a i gotta be back at the field let's see starting at 1 30 so that means we gotta be back about 12 30 12 45 ish right now it's 11 06 and the q a shouldn't take that long but i want to answer some questions that Y'all be asking me pretty often, so I'm finna go answer them. When I get to the car, though, I'm gonna figure out wherever the heck we're going. Because it's like two different parks that I can go to. But I just want to go to a park and, like, a picnic table and do what I gotta do, bro. This curtain is literally gonna ruin my entire, like, experience here. You wanna know why? Because I always sleep through the freaking alarm. Anyways, let me catch y'all. Let me get to the car and figure out whatever park we're going to. Let me get my music playing, bro. Let's see what song we better play. Let's see. All right, I'm gonna see you out of the car. All right, so I came over to, I ain't been over here like in this park in a long time, but I got a little Q and A. I'm gonna throw the questions over there on that side of the screen. I'm just gonna go through all those. I'm gonna answer them like as honest as I can. Here's my questions. One, two, three. But it's a cool little park though. All right, so question number one, somebody said, can I make a video on my defensive routine? So like in like a week or so, we're probably gonna slow it down, maybe like two, three weeks, but we're gonna slow it down because we'll be on fall break or winter break. And then once we get on break, I'll be able to like do a little more routine stuff. But right now, since we're doing practices and games and scrimmages, I'm not, rec you know what I'm saying? I cannot, I can't record that. My boy Kevin said, why are you him? I'm not even gonna answer that. Kevin hit a freaking bomb all the way on the berm um, and left center, so we're just gonna leave that there. Next question, when did you know you were different from other ball players like that you could go D1? Right around that 13, 14, 15, that's when you can start to see yourself. And then as the time went by, I started to see myself develop and kind of started to perform. So once I started to perform, that's kind of when I knew that I could probably play at another level. But ultimately, D1 was the goal, but I don't even like to talk about the whole Division One thing because I feel like there's talent at every level. But I feel like there's some people that kind of destroy the whole division one title thing and that's why i don't stand by it but when i realized i was good probably around that 14 15 range and that's when i realized i could probably play baseball at the next level another question from him he said why uncw and a, and a short answer i've always lived here the location was pretty beneficial i realized i didn't like traveling known to have a great program and i have a great relationship with the coaches that i really enjoyed building you know as time went by so it was mainly baseball driven um they have a great school as well but the goal was to play division one baseball i got the opportunity that's kind of was the deciding factor honestly for me how was your favorite Faith in God helped you through your upset and downs in the game of baseball. Honestly, I would just say trust, bro. Trusting God and knowing that he has good for you, whether it's right now, whether it's next week or a month later, you know what I mean? Just trusting God and believing that he can do what, it, what he said he would do. You guys may not know or don't know, but I've never had any injuries. So keeping me healthy has been huge. I've never had any arm pain, leg pain, knee pain, ankle, and it's a true blessing. Um, somebody said, do you do anything mentally pregame to get you right? Probably not, to be honest. I used to do like more yoga and stuff like that, um, but as far as preparing for the game. I listen to music. Um, I always try to listen to more laid back music. I don't really like to get hype because I feel like you start to get amped up, your mind gets amped up, and then your muscles get amped up. And then after that, you start to play at a really fast pace. I like to be comfortable. I like to relax and that's how I like to play the game. Somebody asked, um, how is your mental health? Um, I would say it's it's decent. On a scale of 1 to 10, it'd probably be like a 7. I always have things in the back of my head that I feel like I should be doing and they're not getting done. So I end up going to bed kind of feeling unsatisfied with the day. It's kind of hard to like 
keep going every day or like do different things in the day whenever you feel like there's something else that you should be doing, you know what I mean? When it's time for bed, I always feel like, dang, I could be doing this or I could be doing this. So I think that's kind of the headache every now and then. All right, next question. How's life in baseball training? I would say pretty well. I would say it's definitely a lot. And we're definitely doing a lot every single day, but it's been well, you know what I mean? I can't complain whatsoever. Somebody else asks, how do you pull? I'm gonna assume he's talking about girls, but I have a girlfriend and I'm done, you know what I mean? I am very happy with her. We have a lot of fun. We hang out all the time. She's super supportive. I'm good, we're leaving it there. I don't, I, don't, I don't need nothing else. My boy Aiden said, how do you do it? I'm gonna ask him, how do you, how do, you do it? Somebody else asked, what is the hardest part about adapting to college and the college baseball schedule? I'll honestly say staying healthy and having like that daily motivation to basically do it all over again. In like high school, you go to practice, it's probably about hour and a half, two hour practice. You play maybe twice a week, two, three times a week, depending where you are, but that's it. You know what I mean? You don't do much on the weekend. So honestly, the hardest part is probably just being able to do it all over again, being able to wake up and just go about it all over again. Having that motivation and the discipline to just keep showing up, keep showing up, keep showing up. Boys at Klein said, what's the story on the batting gloves? So not too long ago, or probably about a year ago, honestly, um, Velo T, he reached, had some yard gloves and I was interested, you know what I mean? It's one of the first companies that reached out to me. They're actually yard gloves, so they fit like yard gloves. You could probably do some yard work in them, but that's the whole idea behind them. I mean, I really enjoy them just because I don't get any blisters on my hands, man. My hands are pretty clean. Now we did do some deadlifts, so I got a couple at the top, um, but besides that, man, my hands stay pretty healthy. It's a lot more cushiony, but I like to have that cushion and be able to just kind of loosen around my Hand. That's kind of the whole story, the idea behind it. He reached out to me, but I mean, I've been rocking them since, you know what I'm saying? I really enjoy them because if I didn't, I wouldn't be using them, you know? Somebody said, how is campus life? I'm um, considering transferring there. Campus life is chill, I ain't gonna lie. I really do not get outside of my dorm much more than like my normal life. Honestly, just because I don't feel like it. Another question is, what's your approach in the box and how do you go about the game, whether you're doing good or bad? Staying level-headed, man. It's only so much you can control. There's only two things you can really control in baseball, that's effort and attitude. Um, so whether you're 0 for 3 or 3 for 3, you can control your effort and attitude. Or not having a bad at-bat and then carry over to defense and now I made two errors. Also being a constant learner at the end of the game and realizing, all right, if I do this this way one time, you know, had this kind of outcome. Just being able to do that trial and error and try to find that middle ground or that success area. The hardest part about managing your time with baseball workout, girlfriend, school, homework. Honestly, bro, it's just take it one day at a time. I do not do well planning ahead. Um, I do not like to do a calendar. I do not like to do like a planner. I don't like any of that. I like to do what I gotta do the day of, uh, the hour, the same minute, you know what I mean? I like to do what I have to do. I worry about everything else later. But in regards to like my girlfriend, school, I see my girlfriend basically every day. No shame in my game, bro. I, I enjoy it, we have fun. It's a good way to relax for me as well. Last set of questions, let's see. How did the recruiting process go for you? So in a simple sense, I played for a team, when I played against a team, and the uh, opposing team's coach reached out to the coaches for me and from there that's when we started our conversation and we basically talked for a couple months a couple weeks till we were ready to go and when I was ready and then we went from there um, that's that's probably as simple as I'm gonna do it uh, somebody asked what camera do I use uh, I'm using a Sony a7c 16 millimeter Sigma but a Sony a7c what's your goal this season I want to be an impact player but I want the coach to be able to have trust in me um, to be able to come in and impact the game um, whether that's stealing bases whether that's making defensive plays whether that's getting two run RBI um, I just want to be able to come in and be an impact and be a benefit to the team that's probably my biggest goal honestly what advice would you give someone who is trying to start making content and play ball my only advice honestly would just be to be yourself don't try to copy someone else's videos don't try to copy someone else's style of videos don't try to edit the same way someone else does and there's a lot of things you can take from people but once you get into copying and start basically reciprocating what someone else does you're gonna find the hate very fast um, so just do what you do um, just be you but have a reason you know what I'm saying I said the school or sports more difficult definitely sports you just gotta do what you gotta do. I wouldn't say I'm super passionate about school, but I do what I gotta do. You know what I mean? So I can get on the field. Short review of your gloves. I'm actually making a custom glove this video. What would be your favorite memory that you tell your grandkids? I would definitely say uh, being able to see my life change. If you look at my videos from maybe six, seven months ago, you can see how dark the captions are and also how dark the thumbnails are. If you were paying enough attention, life was not banging. Um, so just to be able to share that story about how my life has changed and how I went from grieving to having a lot more fun and enjoying what I'm doing day to day. That's basically it. Um, right now it's about 12 o'clock. I need to get some gas, bro. My car on like the last draw. That's why y'all keep liking the video, bro. Keep liking the video. But there's the Q&A, man. I hope I answered some questions. If you guys have any more questions, throw them in the description or the comments. Not the description. Only I could use that. But throw them in the comments, man, and I'll definitely answer them. I'm just talking in circles. I ain't gonna lie. So I'm gonna see y'all in a little bit.
Alright y'all, I ain't even gonna lie, hold up, it's way later in the day, and the game did not go so hot, so I already was not feeling good like I wanted to record or nothing, but I've been looking at some motorcycles, bro, if y'all don't know, I want to get a motorcycle, no, I'm not gonna drive like an idiot, but I just want something I can ride on the weekends, just to have some fun, honestly, get out, so like, I'm gonna show y'all really quick what I'm looking at, but this is not why I'm recording right now, so I'm looking at this, I also went on the website and looked at a CB500 right here, it's a 2022, um, don't look at the cost or none of that, we're gonna worry about it, it's in, it's in God's hands, okay, that's what we're going with. Anyways, for now, I actually got asked to make a custom bat, or a custom glove, um, so I'm about to customize that, and I'm gonna show you guys basically what I'm doing, I don't know how I'm gonna customize it yet, I probably wanna do something like realistic that I can probably use in games, because if you guys don't know, there's a company called Batflip, he makes baseball pants, um, a lot of tweeners, he does elbow guard, now he does arm sleeves, he does leg guards as well, he reached out to me about doing an infield glove, so I'm about to customize an infield glove, and then I'll show you guys probably the finished product, so we'll probably do like a little time lapse, and just see what we can come up with, because I have no idea what I wanna do yet, Oh, dude, this site is awesome. Hold up, let me show y'all the site, bro. Bro, the site looks gas, bro. I know it's like super bright. Dude, I think I'm gonna do the American because I don't know how well the, the Japanese is gonna break in yet. So we're gonna do- How's college been? It's been good, man. I'm, I'm enjoying it, having a lot of fun. Alright, ain't even gonna lie to you, man. Right now it's 1250, 1251 in the morning. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but today, I went over to um, grind out, strike out. I think pitchers, like our pitchers, are just like slowly starting to catch up to us. We've probably been playing games. We probably played like, so we play four scrimmages a week. 20-ish games, 20-ish scrimmages, a bunch of at-bats, you know what I mean? So pitchers are just starting to kind of pick up on me just a little bit. I ain't even about to specify because I don't know where this video is going to land at. But they're starting to pick up on me just a little bit. And we just got to keep grinding, keep figuring it out, and keep getting better. I did get on by an error, so I did, I did like impact the game a little bit. I did steal two bases pass ball and then the other one i score another pass ball so I, I was like scored the first round but besides that didn't really do too much and that's okay man some days some days you got it some days you don't but if you can find a way to impact the game whether that's some defense or offense or just being a good teammate that day it's a win man and you gotta realize bro sometimes you just gotta figure out how you can win how can you get through it how can you fight through it despite how well you're playing or how bad you're playing I'll see y'all in the next video. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys have a great day. We'll see y'all in the next video. Good night, guys.